Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and the only Killer Bourdain. And today I'm reviewing a sci-fi film and this one is titled I think going through my uh cell phone to watch YouTube videos was actually more interesting than watching what's going on in this movie because it's really uninteresting. Oh boy folks, I just started this review and yeah, I'm already complaining about shit. And you know, that's a bad sign from the start. Ugh. Anyway. Okay, just I guess I should just talk about this and whatnot. Okay. No one seems to be there. Ah! Mr. Monkey! It's you again. I'm getting tired of tearing this shit, you know that? I don't wanna buy you these movies. Not gonna get. Hey, little bastard. Don't make me don't make me shoot you again like I did before. Go. Leave. Go and get. Little bastard. Seriously. In this sci-fi slash horror film, we get to see that there is this alien craft that crashes into this particular place of Earth. Yeah, it's somewhat populated. And there's these three aliens that somehow survive the crash. Then we get to see that there is this sheriff whom is concerned by these recent murders that are caused by these unknown creatures. So yeah, the mayor is also concerned about it, of course. They don't know that it's being caused by these creatures. So it's kind of like a mystery murder kind of a thing at first. And this film does attempt to be like a horror film mixed with sci-fi. Which is fine, this was not the first film to actually done that kind of a thing. But, actually folks, this movie is terrible. It's not really good at all, folks. I really didn't like it. Obviously, the characters eventually realize that the murderous creatures are the aliens. So, yeah, they also did attempt to give the alien characters some sort of a backstory, which is fine. I don't mind that. And the highlight of the movie is the creatures themselves. They are pretty creative, I will admit. I did like the looks of these creators. Very old fashioned filmmaking, I like that. And I did like the. There was an attempt to create some sort of suspense, I guess you can say. And. Yeah, that story itself is pretty simple. And of course, simple doesn't have to be a bad thing, but the problem here is the execution. The execution wasn't very good at all. And I've seen this film with Amazing Maddie. So Amazing Maddie, if you're watching this review, I highly appreciate the fact that you watched this with me. And oh boy, this was a clunker, folks. It's basically what you call a court turkey, folks. And yeah, that's a good way to call this film. It ain't nothing but a court turkey. And we all know that nobody wants that. And eat it in that way, ew. I mean, yeah, there's some gore in here, some violence, sure. But that's that kind of thing is to be expected. So, yeah, we don't get much else than what I just said, folks. The story itself is pretty basic. And that doesn't have to be a bad thing, of course. So, overall, folks, this, this was definitely a poorly made film as a whole. So, yeah, unfortunately, folks, this wasn't a particularly good movie at all. I didn't like it. I mean, I see some, like, good ideas in here. There's some potential to be had here. Unfortunately, it was not very good, folks. This movie is... It's bad. It's a, it's a bad film. I mean, granted, it's not the absolute worst I've seen, but still. Why are a lot of the characters came out kind of okay, I guess? It's just the overall execution of the film that came out rather poor, if you ask me. This should have been a pretty good film, but at the end of the day, it just fell flat on his knees. I know, boy, what a disaster this film would turn out to be. Yeah. Not particularly good, I might add. Not really. It sucks. Yeah, there you go. Let's destroy this movie. It gets it sucks. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Okay, throw the pieces in here. In the trash, here we go. Yeah. Bad movie. You suck. I can't tell that there was a lot of effort into this movie. I mean, a lot, especially in the special effects department of this film. Lots of handmade stuff, and that's the thing, the special effects in this film were, were actually quite decent, if you bring into mind that this is an old movie. 
But it's such a shame. Damn it, Mr. Monkey. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm not going to buy these shitty movies to, for you. I said no. Yeah, better walk away, you little bastard. Ah. Dad, don't forget. Got knocked the fuck out. Fucking little monkey. You're a pain in the ass. So, yeah, now you're knocked out cold. That's what you get. Yeah, he's knocked out cold. Yep. Good rinse. This is actually a, a pretty surprising high concept. Yeah, it's kind of cheesy, sure, but there's some cool aliens. And the characters are trying to fight them off. And the aliens themselves do come off rather creepy in some ways. So, yeah, they were really attempting to mix two genres into one, which is fine. But it just, the mixture of the two don't, don't blend that well in this particular movie. So, unfortunately, it just came out a total bore fest. Especially during the metal half of the movie, it felt like it dragged on for quite a while. It just kept going and going and going. Maybe it would have been better if it was much shorter. Yeah, the aliens used some sort of, like, energy thing to sap. I guess the character's spirits or something, and that's pretty creative, I guess. It's kind of confusing, I, I suppose, but I guess they use somehow their beam or something right here to get their energy and just use it for themselves. So, yeah. Yeah, that, that's not really that explained that well, really, folks. So, it's kind of confusing. I'm, I'm scratching my head right now while, while I'm thinking about it. Also, folks, I know another disappointment in this particular film is that this didn't come off like a scary movie at all even though it, it attempted to be like a horror film but there's nothing particularly scary about it at all so yeah that, that's that's actually kind of stupid when you think about it <sighs> yeah it, it even fails at that level as well folks we never care about the, any of the characters as the film progressed so yeah well at least i didn't give a fine shit but anyway yeah the overall film came off like it it, it was just half-assed in a lot of ways. The editing was pretty bad as well. Yeah, this was supposed to be one of those independently made films. Which is fine, but it just came off like the director had no experience, really. At least in terms of storytelling, anyway. I mean, it was fairly consistent in some ways. But in other areas, there were some plot holes in some ways. But, I mean, you would think they would have gotten the military involved if the creatures are such a problem. I, mean, I understood as to why the mayor didn't want to say too much. And I do get the whole cop thing. They want to take up the job first. But, you know, at some point, you have to get the military involved somehow. But that never occurred. I guess that would make too much sense, I guess. As a result of this movie, folks, I was in an insane asylum for a good while. And, oh boy. I know my bill must be ranked up rather high because I've been watching so many bad movies lately. Yeah, that's not a good question. Matter, matter of fact, I'm starting to quit my insanity after a while. Get me out of here. Seriously. I want out. So yeah, folks, I'll say avoid this film at all costs because it's lousy. It's, it stinks. The acting is terrible, folks. Oh boy, the acting here is atrocious. And what makes all this more insulting is the ending. I'm not going to give away for anyone that wants to see this. I don't understand why you would, but for anyone that wants to see this, be my guest. You'll waste your time if you want. But I thought the ending was stupid. And what makes a bad movie worse is that the ending is really stupid. I mean, I just. I felt like the, this could have been good. It could have been a good movie. And there's some good ideas in here. You know. If it was better if it was better executed, it could have at least been a fun movie. But no. This felt like I was placed in a torture chamber. Okay, maybe that was maybe that would have been more fun watch, than watching this movie. So yeah folks. I say avoid it. It sucks. No. Anyway, the alien effa factor gets an overall rating of a 4.5 out of 10. It gets a 4.5 out of 10 for me. And as always, thanks for watching, and take care. Don't mind me, I'm going to drink something. <coughs> this should help with my pain. Mm.
Doing good shit. Go and get. Leave already.